Lesson 6.3, three-digit addition, regroup ones. When there are 10 or more ones, we regroup 10 ones as 110. We regroup the 10 to the tens column. We have a three-digit number, 138, and we're adding it to another three-digit number, 245. We start by adding the ones. We have eight ones plus five ones, that's 13 ones. We regroup the 10 to the tens column and write the three in the ones column. Then we add the tens. We have four plus three, that's seven tens, and we remember to add that regrouped 10. That's eight tens. Then we add the hundreds. We have 100 plus 200, that's 300. It's equal to 383. We can draw quick pictures of base 10 blocks to model the problem. We regroup 10 ones as 110. So we have 138, that's 100, three tens, eight ones. We have 245, that's two hundreds, four tens, five ones. We have five ones and five ones. We can circle them to make 10 ones. We regroup it to the tens place. Then we cross it off of the ones place. We still have three ones. Now we can see we have three ones. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. We have one, two, three hundreds. It's 383. So one more time, this is how we would model and draw 138 plus 245. We have 100, three tens, eight ones. We have two hundreds, four tens, five ones. We start by adding the ones. We have 13 ones. We have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup if we need to. So we can circle these 10, the 5 and the 5, and we can bring it over here and draw another 10. Then we cross these 10 out because now we've used them. We have three ones. We have three tens, four tens, and the one we regrouped. We add them together. We have three and four is seven. That's eight. Three and four is seven, and one more is eight. We have eight tens. We count the hundreds. We have three hundreds. It's 383. So make sure you cross off the drawings that you regroup and make sure you count anything that you regrouped. It's telling us to write the sum, so we need to do it for each problem. We start with the ones place. We have nine ones plus four ones. It's easier to start with the greater digit. So we start with nine and we have four, that's 13. We regroup a 10 to the tens place and write the three in the ones place. Now we have five, six, seven, eight. We don't have any hundreds here. We only have a 100 here, so we just drop it down. It's equal to 183. So we had to regroup 10 ones as a 10 for this problem. Now for this one, we have 462 plus 113. We look at the ones place and we have three plus two, that's five. We don't need to regroup. So we have nothing in the box. We just have six tens and one 10, which is seven tens. Then we have four hundreds plus one hundred is five hundred. It's equal to five hundred seventy-five. So be very careful. Sometimes we need to regroup and sometimes we don't need to regroup. We only need to regroup if we have ten or more ones that we can put into the tens column. We need to remember to add the regrouped ten. Look at this problem here. Look what was written. We have seven plus five, which is 12, and a 10 got regrouped into the box and a two got put in the ones place. But then when the tens were added, this box was forgotten and it was just two plus four is six, and that's wrong. That'll be a wrong answer. 
This should be 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 1 more is 7. That's the correct answer. So remember to add the regrouped 10 that's in that box. On Friday, Mr. Lee's store had 218 customers. There were 200 more customers in his store on Saturday than on Friday. How many customers were in his store on both days? So we think, first we need to find the number of Saturday customers. It says 218 was Friday, but Saturday was 200 more than on Friday. So Friday is 218, Saturday is 218, and 200 more. So we need to add these two together to know Saturday. And we can use mental math. We're just adding two more hundreds. 218 plus two more hundreds is 418. It's asking us how many customers were in his store on both days. So now we know Friday is 218 and Saturday is 418. We need to find the total for both days. We need to add 218 and 418. We start with the ones place. 8 plus 8 is 16. We regroup and put a 10 in the tens place and write a 6 in the ones place. Now we add the tens. We have 1, 2, 3 tens. Now we add the hundreds. We have 4, 5, 6. That means he had 636 customers on Friday and Saturday. Tala's house is 150 steps away from Sophia's house. Their school is 234 steps away from Sophia's house. How many total steps is this? We think we need to add the steps together. Can we use mental math? We have 150, 150 plus 234. Could you add that with mental math? We have 200 and 100 more is 300. Then we have five tens and three tens, that's eight tens, and then we just have four ones. We could also add it by going zero plus four is four, five plus three is eight, and one plus two is three. That's 384. It's 384 steps. I wanted to let you know that there are three digit addition frames in the Joanne School Facebook page photo section. If you look in the Charts, Grids, Tables, 10 Frames album, there's a lot of albums you have to click on See All. I also have these headers that you can just use a sheet of paper instead of printing these out and you can write your numbers below here and maybe draw the lines to come down. And remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. You don't need to write the whole words hundreds, tens, ones. You can just write an H for hundred, T for ten, and an O for ones. Our next lesson, 6.4, we're going to do three-digit addition and regroup tens to the hundreds place. Keep doing your best. I'm proud of you. Have a great day. Bye.